Did you know that the king salmon in Alaska are shrinking? Over the past several decades, there has been a notable decline in both the size and amount of salmon found in Alaskan rivers, and we're going to tell you some of the reasons experts think this might be happening. Hey there, fishizens! Welcome back to Go Fishing Now, your number one place on the internet for all things fishing. Make sure to like and subscribe for new fishing videos every single day. Salmon fishing in Alaska is iconic in every way. The undisturbed landscapes and natural beauty of the environment have always been the perfect site for fishing. The thrill and adventure of traveling to Alaska for sport fishing is unmatched by other fishing locations. The history of salmon fishing in Alaska is legendary and making the trip up the Kenai River is on the bucket list of most hobby fishermen. As time goes on, sport fishing in Alaska has become more popular and Alaskan rivers have become more accessible to tourists as the state becomes more inhabited. Additionally, an increasing number of fisheries have popped up as the demand for the fish increases. So what does all this have to do with the king salmon shrinking in size and number? A lot, actually. First things first, we need to understand how salmon are categorized. A salmon's age is often referred to by how long it has been away from its river of origin after it travels out to the ocean. For example, a four ocean fish and a five ocean fish have been living in the ocean for four and five years respectively before they return to spawn. Traditionally, it is understood that the larger fish have been out in the ocean for longer than the smaller fish. The largest salmon typically caught on the Kenai are thought to be six ocean fish. This has become increasingly rare and many suspect that six ocean fish are no longer in existence. Back in the 80s, six ocean fish were commonplace and easily weighed anywhere from 60 to 80 pounds. Fishermen would claim to catch these fish at least daily and the average fish weighed over 40 pounds. Today, the average salmon caught in Alaska shockingly weighs around 20 pounds. Honestly, no one would believe you if you told them you caught an 80 pound salmon in Alaska these days. Salmon size has been steadily decreasing since the year 2000 with no sign of slowing down. Experts contribute this decline to a number of factors that could be impacting the size and amount of salmon in Alaska's rivers. Overfishing may be an obvious scapegoat in this situation. These fish face a hard enough journey traveling from their inlet to the ocean and back. Nowadays, they have to navigate their own natural predators in addition to hundreds of fishing nets and poles. Local guides claim that some days are so bad that the boats nearly end up on top of one another and they can't move from their spot unless they're leaving. Additionally, the number of sport fishing guides registered in the state of Alaska has more than quintupled since the 80s. With each guide taking anywhere from 4 to 12 people out each day, just think of how many more fishermen are out there on the water today compared to just a few decades ago. While overfishing is definitely a problem in the state, it is far from the only reason for this decline in size and amount of salmon. A specific reason for the decrease in size of salmon is the selective fishing that takes place. Many anglers only keep the larger fish that they catch and throw back the smaller ones. Over decades, this leads to an artificial genetic modification of the species by size modification. Basically, the fish with the genetics to grow larger are being taken out of circulation instead of spawning. This has also contributed to a decrease in population overall as the larger, stronger fish typically had a better chance than the smaller fish of making it all the way up the river to spawn. Fun fact! Did you know that there is no way to analyze fish DNA after it's been cooked? Another surprising contributing factor is the increasing abundance of the orca whale off the coast of Alaska. Orca whales feed almost exclusively off of salmon and their population has tripled to 2300 since 1970. These animals go out of their way to hunt and eat the largest salmon possible, not just the closest ones. Experts believe that this whale has significantly contributed to both the decrease in population and size of the salmon. While it's clear why the increased presence of a predator might decrease the number of its prey, why do you think it has decreased the size? Scientists theorize that this may be an evolutionary tactic as the fish who are smaller often do not get eaten by the orca. This may be evolution at work in species attempting preservation of itself. Today, local hatcheries in Alaska try to replace fish and keep up with fish populations by stocking millions of young salmon into the river every year. Unfortunately, this decreases the genetic diversity since they are increasing the number of fish in the river produced in a hatchery. This decreases the size of the salmon in the wild, as many of those produced in fisheries are not genetically predispositioned to be as huge as they used to be. Trivia time! Do you know which summer holiday officially kicks off the salmon fishing season on the Kenai River? Let us know in the comments, and we'll tell you if you're right a little later in the video. 
With this drastic decrease in size, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game created a law in 2003 that all salmon caught measuring over 55 inches long must be brought to and sealed by this department. Additionally, all information regarding the fish including size, approximate age, gender, and location caught must be input into a database at this department. This was to help the department determine the average size of the fish and rate at which the size was declining. Astonishingly, as of 2017, only two fish have met this requirement to be entered into the database. The first was 71 pounds, and the other was an 80 pounder. There have been numerous unverified reports from local fishermen of other large fish caught and released, but data could not legally be extracted from a fishing story. So officially, there have only been two fish in the past 15 years that have even come close to what was previously considered to be a normal fishing day on the Kenai. Like any sport, there are plenty of records set and broken all the time, and salmon fishing was no exception. The International Game Fish Association keeps the records for salmon fishing in Alaska. Every record related to size for king salmon fishing was set before the year 2001, but the majority of them are actually still holding strong from the 80s. So, there does seem to be quite a few factors contributing to this problem, with no notable solutions in sight. Will the fish survive as a species by adapting to be a smaller size forever? Will the state set up more regulation laws related to sport fishing salmon? What can the community do to make an impact? As fishermen, we all want this animal to thrive for everyone's sake, and so hobby fishermen can still live out that bucket list dream. Oh yeah, which holiday did you guess is the start of salmon fishing on the Kenai River? If you guessed Memorial Day, you got it right! Although historically, you'd be more likely to catch more and bigger fish in mid to late July. That's all for this video. If you like this video, let us know and leave us a comment on another fishing topic you want to learn more about. We'll see you in the next video on Go Fishing Now! Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell or we'll hide your tackle box.